you've been knowing for Manny for 20 plus years, Freddie, if I'm not mistaken, right? Mm -hmm. What is there something still that stands out in your eyes that you see in Manny? Uh, his work ethic is the best in the world. He's a great role model. If I had a young fighter and I wanted him to be like somebody, I would take him to the gym and say, be like that guy. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just like, I've used many of those equations before because when Chavez Jr. asked me to train him, I said, well, you know, will you train every day? You know, Yes, yes, yes. And so I said, okay. I said, you know what? I want you to come to Manny Pacquiao's workout tomorrow, and I want you to watch his workout. And after we're done, we'll have a discussion. And after this, he watched, and we sat down, and I says, can you do that? He says, yes, but you guys are a little bit crazy. And I said, yeah, but, but can you do it? And he said, yes. Yeah. So that's. That was when I took, I took him on, and we had six great fights together, and then the seventh fight together, he didn't really show up. But, you know, it, he had six good fights, and I think that had a lot to do with that, it was watching Manny back out work out, and watching a real champion, and how they work, and how they get to where they are. Now, Freddie, obviously, you know, Oscar De La Hoya, Miguel Cotto, you know, these great fighters have not retired, but Manny's still fighting the top echelon fighters. Mm -hmm. What do you make of this? Where does this drive come from? Why is Manny still doing this? Well, we don't want to be like just a guy that just wants to go to like city to city and fight the best fighter there and just get paid. We want to be world champion. We want to be the best. I mean, we, there's no sense in boxing unless you can be the best in my opinion, and I'm sure in Manny's opinion also. And the thing is, that's why we're gonna fight guys like this. You know, if Thurman, if, you know, if they offer him next, I mean, you know, okay. Let's, let's, let's see who's the best fighter is. I mean, I mean, the thing is, we're not in this business just to, just to box and make money. We wanna be world champion and be the best fighter that we can be. And until that happens, um, we'll keep fighting. But once he starts seeing signs of slowing down and getting maybe punishment-wise and stuff like that, we will have a discussion and we will, we will retire before it's too late. What did you, what did you think of uh, Manny's last performance over Adrian Broner? What did Great you performance. Uh, uh, one of the most offensive I've seen Manny in a long time. Won every round and uh, beat a good big guy. I mean, you know, and um, Broner was a good fighter at one time, but uh, he didn't belong in the ring with Manny Pacquiao. I spoke to one of Manny's sparring partners, Arnold Gonzalez. He says, obviously, his speed is crazy, but what stands out the most is his footwork. How he can just switch and just hit you from different directions. Yeah, he has great he has great hand speed, but the foot speed is what's the key. Yeah, the foot speed is by far his best asset. And if there's a Manny Pacquiao movie, who plays Freddie Roach? Fred Sternberg. <laughs> no, I'm not cheap. And um, last question on this topic. What do you make of you know, Bob Brown's comment saying that he doesn't want to see Manny get hurt, he doesn't want to see him fight for too long, because you know, he cares for him. Well, I, I, I would say uh, yeah. if we're still with Bob Arum, we'd be fighting Crawford right now, and all that other shit would go out the window. Come on, let's face it. He's, he's a promoter. I mean, his job is to make the best fights, and that's one of the greatest fights in the world.